Now, Extreme Makeover Home Edition continues. A loving dad coping with a sudden loss. She was buried on what would have been her 29th birthday. And the challenge of raising three kids on his own. Basically, I get up at 7 in the morning, and I don't go to bed till 1 in the morning with, uh, you know, with me watching him and then going to work. The design team is doing everything they can to give him back his dreams. It breaks my heart that the two littlest boys will probably not remember their mom. And honor the memory of a very special woman. There's more Extreme Makeover Home Edition right now. Yeah. This is going to be fun, right? Yeah. Give me a secret handshake. There you go. John Vitale is a guy who puts his life on the line every day. He's been a cop for 10 years. This guy is amazing. He's honest, hardworking, and a great dad. Here we go. All right, can you see? John and Anne Marie were a happy, married couple. They had three beautiful kids. They bought this little house, and they actually moved out of the house so that they could start renovating. And that's when the plans changed a bit. John's wife, Anne Marie, went to the doctors, and they found out that she had an advanced form of leukemia. Within five months of the diagnosis, she passed away. And on her 29th birthday, her family buried her. Before Anne Marie passed away, she made John promise that him and the boys would return to this house so that she'd know where to find him. So here we are. We're going to remodel this home uh, just as if it were Anne Marie and John and, and try to make that dream come true for them. So we've almost completed all the siding on the house. One last touch. You can see the stonework up there. They put a V. Obviously, the last name of John is Vitali. But we've also got lots of people named V working on this thing. What's your last name? Mine. What's yours? Velder. Velder? Vinny, what's your first name? Vinny is my first name. See what I mean? You got Vinny, Vines, Val, Vito. What else we got? Vicarious. Vicarious. Vanilla. Vanilla. Melvin. Melvin. Love it! Ventriloquist! Vestibule! Versimilitude! Velociraptor! Envelope! Vegas! How about Vamanos? I've got 18 guys standing still playing V games with you. How about this one? Vacation! How about this one? You are all fired! <laughs> All right, so uh, Adrian's room is, is uh, the Winnie the Pooh room. And what we've decided to go with here is a couple of different things. Paul took on the responsibility of the Winnie the Pooh room. Adrian is still in a crib, but I think he's going to be out of the crib in about six months. So we're going to give him a little bed also that looks just like the Winnie the Pooh bed that we're going to make. So we've got a Winnie the Pooh book. Now he's an expert. We're going to have a Winnie the Pooh door. So we'll have a regular door, but inside that door is going to be a door for Pooh to go in. Now, the one thing we all know about Winnie the Pooh is that he loves honey. We gotta go find a lot of different honey jars. Honey here, honey here, more honey there. Oh, I do like honey. And Pooh's guarding it because he thinks someone's gonna come and steal his honey. Now, the great thing about Adrian, he has Jack over here who wants to be a policeman who's gonna be able to guard all the honey. There'll be a little hidden door right here for Adrian to get out into the jail room. There'll be a little hidden room there. Does anyone have any little kids like two and a half years old? Can I borrow him for one second for some measurements? See Piglet on the chair? I gotta kinda make a chair just like that, all right? So can you pretend like you're sitting down? Go ahead and sit right on my hand. You can sit right on my hand. I'm thinking 11 inches. Does that sound right to you? All right, 11 inches it is. Thanks, Alex, appreciate that. Let's go, sons. I'm in Luke's nursery. And this whole ceiling is going to be painted with clouds, really gentle clouds. And then we're going to have fiber optic stars in here. That means little twinkling lights are coming in. We have a specialist coming in to install them today. They're going to go all over the ceiling. I'm designing Luke's nursery. In the original house, there was this beautiful mural piece that Anne-Marie put on the wall with moons and stars in a window frame. So I'm going to put it right back into the nursery. That's going to be the focal point. That's going to be the theme of the new nursery for Luke. Moons and stars. And there's going to be a shooting star that starts right here, goes across the room, and ends on that wall over there. And the crib, the circular crib that Anne-Marie and John bought for their kids is right here. So it's going, to be, it's going to be a really nice design, and it's going to actually keep that entire theme of moons and stars in the nursery.
There are two things that John wants to save in his house. The um, moon and stars painting that was in the boys' rooms and the door jam that leads into the basement. Uh, this is the old door jam that I saved uh, right before demolition. What I'm gonna do here is just paint this yellow and make it almost like a ruler so uh, that the kids can just stand up to it and know exactly how tall they are. We have Jack, 3701, and him again at 6802. Mom probably wrote this. This isn't something that I can sand over and paint to make it look cuter. This is something that I need to preserve. It breaks my heart that the two littlest boys will probably not remember their mom. And so everything that we can do inside this house to preserve her memory is exactly what we're gonna do. So I'm here in Chip's studio. Now he's a local artist and he is a glass worker. And I sent over this cool design and we're going to do the countertop for the bar in John's den. When I was designing the den for John, I really wanted it to have an old world feel. And nothing says old world to me than stained glass windows. So we found a local artisan who does just that. I love the way these colors are coming together like this. This looks awesome. Yeah, you picked out some great colors. Now, where's my little piece that I cut? Beautiful, beautiful colors of olive and amber and terracotta. This is gonna look so amazing when this is lit from underneath. Look at that. That is beautiful. And nice. You see all the detail. So this is our countertop. This is the bar right here. What do you have, sir? Hey, how you doing? I found a couple of John's friends that uh, work with him, and I asked him. His last name is Vitali, right? Yes. You know, Vitali sounds kind of Italian. Turns out it is. Does he speak any Italian? Not that I know. Well, no, I don't think so. Doesn't speak a word of Italian. Not a word. Oh my, great. So then I found this guy. Hey, Emilio! Yeah! You speak Italian. So I let him talk to John on the phone and give him just detailed explanations of what's happening with the house. Hello? John, ciao, come stai? Hi, hi. Eh, insomma, siamo qui lavorando in tua casa, tutto, insomma, è tranquillo, tutto bene. It sounded like, well, it was like a Fellini movie because I couldn't understand a word. If we only had subtitles. Sai, è un design molto, molto intelligente. Lui, sai, stai tranquillo, buone vacanze. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> ciao. I have no idea what you're saying. All I understood was he said ciao, and I believe that says goodbye. And that kind of keeps him out of the loop. And I love that. Nice work, Emilio. Fantastic. Coming up. We had no idea who was really going to be performing for us. And there out comes Danny Rodriguez, who is a New York City cop uh, that has a voice of an angel. <laughs> That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. How are you guys doing? <laughs> okay, can you guys be quiet for a second? I'm going to make a phone call. Hey, Danny? Hey, man, it's me, Ty. How's it going? Ty organized an amazing benefit concert to raise a little money for the Vitali family. So I was thinking maybe you could kind of come down, give us a little bit of your time, maybe help raise some money. Does that sound pretty cool? And he was able to get Danny Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez, who was a, a New York City cop uh, that has a voice of an angel. He's on his way! <laughs> Thanks for being here. This is uh, this is really awesome. Um, it's so great to see this kind of community support. So there's a guy who's going to sing for us tonight. He's an ex New York City police officer. You might remember him from singing a beautiful song after the tragedy at September 11th. So without further ado, guys, I'd like to welcome Daniel Rodriguez. Take it away. Thank you, man. Thank you. The reason I'm here was because I got a phone call and they said that uh, one of our own is in trouble. In the police department, we call it a 1013. Officer needs assistance. This is the Ave Maria Schubert. He sang this beautiful song, Ave Maria. And 
and I look out into the faces that are out there at the concert, and I see Denise and Marie's sister, and I see John's dad, and I see all these family members that miss Emory so much. And they know that John is just, it's been a struggle. We ended up passing the hat, and the community ended up giving so much. Some checks small, some checks large, like really large, and dollar bills to kids putting a quarter in. so many firemen's helmets, we just don't have any more room. Every person that was there that night loves this family and cares about this family and wants to help and wants to give and wants to donate. We've just raised an incredible amount of money for these guys. One thousand, three thousand, seven thousand dollars. Oh, we've got another check down here. I'm like, do you want to come up here for a second? We sold t-shirts and raffles and raised twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> Vitaly's story has touched the hearts and the souls of everyone in this town. The business community would like to present the Vitaly Boys $75,000. The community support here was matched by none I've ever seen. We ended up raising like $150,000 for the house, for education for uh, the future of these guys. It says a lot about your town, man, that this many people would just give this kind of love and effort to, to help out a family, one of their own. If we could all be like you guys, we'd be a beautiful planet, huh? Yeah. I got kind of emotional just seeing everybody and seeing the little photos of Emory on everybody's shirts and, and just knowing the reason we were here. We've all really been touched by your community, and I know in a couple of days, we'll all have packed up and have gone, but, uh, We've, uh... Right. For the first time, I actually couldn't finish a sentence. <laughs> One more thing. Why don't we call John and the boys and let them know we're thinking about him? I had a cute idea calling John and the boys uh, in Utah and then passing the phone around to everybody to say hello. Service not available. <laughs> oh, thank you. Looks good. Oh, wow, right? Hello? John? Yes. Hey, buddy, it's me, Ty. Hey, Ty, how you doing? Listen, there's a couple people that would actually like to say hi. <laughs> It's like a stadium over there. Ty passed the phone and everybody said, Hi, John. Hi, Johnny. Hi, John. Hi, John. It's Greg. Hi, John. It's Denise. Hi, John. It's Lisa. Hi, John. It's Ariana. Hi, John. It's Camilla. Hi, John. It's Victoria. Hi, John. It's Dad. And I think that let him know everyone's here, everyone cares, and we can't wait to get him home. So listen, you guys have fun on vacation, and I promise you, we got a big surprise waiting on you when you get back, right? <laughs> You want to talk to Ty? Okay. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of people. It sounded like hundreds of people somewhere, and uh, I don't know. Just uh, a lot of family and friends. I don't, they're doing something. They're up to something. I don't know what. Just ahead. Thank you. Sal and the Allure team, they're an amazing group of people. Without each and every one of you, we wouldn't be where we are right now. These guys really rose to the occasion and made it happen. And when that bus moves away tomorrow, you know that you helped change a life. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition.
So finally, it's the morning of day six, and we're able to take this hot tub, launch it over the house with this crane. We might have wanted to put this in a little sooner, but we couldn't get the crane here. Crane's here, hot tub's here, it's going in now. And we forgot to put the spa in before we put the roof on this under. So we had to rip the roof off, literally, and then crane the spa in, and then put the roof back on. This is sick. I don't trust you, Sal. You build a nice house, but... <laughs> okay, now I've got Michael where I want him. Right through the roof, right into the sunroom. Perfect. Let's ixnay it on the old spa thing. I'm thinking we'll lose this and put it, put it like a, a, a pinball machine in the corner. Go, Sal! I'm just kidding. <laughs> What you're looking at here is the uh, one of the tires for the cop car bed that I'm doing. All of these little pieces, this is actually the front bumper of the police car. That'll go way down in the front. Here's a little mirror that will go uh, right here. It's like a little rear view mirror. Glass is gonna go right here. That's that little front, uh, front light or the blinker. All of these pieces now don't look like a lot, but when they're all put together, all painted, it should look like a uh, Suffolk County Police Department for Jack's room. Since Jack wants to be a cop, I wanted to give him everything that you would find in a police station. So that includes a police car and, of course, a jail cell. Well, these may not look like them, but they're actually closet doors. These closet doors for Jack's bedroom are going to be jail doors. Looks like you're in jail, doesn't it? It's all happening right here. Woo! Right there. Jack's room is coming together. All the finishing touches seem to be in place. Now I just got to put it together in the room. This here is very cool. We got this from the police academy. Flip on number one. You got the flashers. Number two, you got the middle lights. Number three, you got the end lights. And number four, all the lights. So he can have as little or as much lights as he wants in the room. I think when he comes home, they're all on dazzle him. Adrian's a big Winnie the Pooh fan, so. Uh... He's going to have Winnie the Pooh coming, uh, coming out of all four walls. I'm using an electric knife here to uh, carve our phone because it works really well, and it doesn't make a lot of If I were to use a Sawzall, it would, it would just make a lot of mess. These are our branches and our tree. Because Pooh lives in a tree, that's why we had to have a tree in the room. Originally, the room was all going to be kind of the blue color, but you have to have a tree. Without a tree, it's not a Pooh room. For Luke's nursery, I designed a ceiling that's going to be starlit. And the way you do it, fiber optics. You gotta come up to the attic though, because this is where all the magic begins. I've planned a lot of great projects for Luke's nursery. The ceiling's gonna have stars in it. I mean, lighted stars. This is a fiber optic fiber. See how delicate it is? It's made of plastic. It's just like a hair, but light travels through it and down into the nursery below. Little tiny pinpoints of light all over the ceiling. It looks just like a galaxy and they act like a nightlight. It's gonna be really beautiful. Isn't this fun? All of these strands, and they get clipped off, flush with the ceiling, and it's gonna be a whole night sky, very magical. It's gonna be really pretty and very dreamy. This is the wall that we were able to save from the original nursery. I think it's very important that we honor what Anne Marie wanted as a nursery for her children. In the original house, she had this wonderful mural on the wall with moons and stars, and she loved that theme. The original nursery wall becomes a permanent part of the new nursery wall. Luke is only 18 months old. He's just a baby. And it was Emery's wish that her children would always remember who she is. And by saving something that was so important to her, it's like she's right here in the room with him. I love it because I get to honor what Anne Marie wanted for a nursery for her kids. That room is going to have more things in it from their old house than I think any other room in the house. Thank you! Sal and the Allure team, they're an amazing group of people. Without each and every one of you, we wouldn't be where we are right now. These guys really rose to the occasion and, uh, and made it happen. And when that bus moves away tomorrow, and you see the look on that man's eyes, and you see those three little children, you know that you helped change a life. Where's Ty? You want some keys? Hey! And hey, give me my megaphone while you're at it. We got the house! Let's move in some furniture! 
done all my shopping and I had all my furniture, I just knew I needed some help loading it in. Are you strong? Yes, sir. Can not? you move a sofa? Absolutely. All right, I'm going to need you in the car number one. I'll help you if you help me. You look like you're going to handle the heavy stuff. Let's go, let's go. We don't have all day. Let's go. Let's go load some furniture! It's time to move furniture in. I haven't seen Michael and I haven't seen any furniture. You seen Michael? You guys seen Michael? Michael! You guys seen Michael? Oh, God. Guys, can we get a table under that? Where's the furniture, Michael? Michael! Let's move it in. Ty, Carly, Paige, check this out, guys. And let's move some furniture in the house. I know you guys deal with moving a lot of stuff every day. This is going to be a little different. This goes to Paul's room. This is the Winnie the Pooh room. Kitchen. Uh-oh. Slow this thing down. Bring it in, people. Use your legs. Use your legs. Right. To the right, we've got an open hanger. Kids' room. Kids' room. The good thing this house isn't taken off in 15 minutes. Let's go, ladies. Let's move it. Move it. Move it. That goes in the nursery straight back to the lab. Yep. Table, 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 table. Ty's room. Hallway, hallway, hallway art. And no furniture was lost. Let's start moving this in! Let's go! Let's move it in the house! Okay, can somebody slow this thing down? We'll bring John and the kids home in uh, about 14 hours. In the meantime, I'll just be right here. Just ahead. <laughs> well, John, we promised you that we were going to try and make Anne Marie's dream happen. To make that little house you guys bought together a place to have a new start and a new beginning. I can't say I'm starting a new life over again. I guess I'm restarting it. You know, a little sad, happy, even though my wife's not here. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. I think they need that. They definitely miss them. I do too. To rebuild this house was the dream of John and Emily. For him to see it without her was going to be tough. I think Ty kind of sensed that and thought it would be a good idea if maybe some family members walked through the house with John. So Ty enlisted Emery's mother, brother, and sisters to go through the house with John. I was honored, to be perfectly honest with you. We really didn't know that we were actually going to be part of coming into the house. Hey, John. Right. Great. That's good. That's good. It was great to have them there for the support. Oh. <laughs> well, John, we promised you that we were going to try and make Anne-Marie's dream happen, to make that little house you guys bought together a place where you and the boys could grow up, a place to have a new start and a new beginning. I can't say I'm starting a new life over again. I guess I'm restarting it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's... You know, a little sad, happy. So, you guys know what happens next. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys ready? You want to help me say it? Move that bus, Ty. Move that bus. Today. <laughs> Here we go. Bus driver. Move that bus. Nice to be able to, you know, just come home. You want to live here, guys? <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? A tremendous feeling. Happiness, sadness, everything. Everything come on. I 
Thank you. What do you say we get you guys inside? So let's go check it out. Well, John, I know that you made a promise to your wife, Anne Marie, to make sure you guys would move back into the house so that she'd be able to find you guys. Definitely, yeah. Well, if you look above there, there's a V in stone, and that stands for Vitaly. And I think she'll always be able to find her way home. I hope so. So guys, do me a favor. Walk through that front door and, and do a brand new beginning that I think you guys desperately need. Oh! <laughs> oh, look, look! Oh my gosh! look like just a door jam, but to this family, it means the world. Oh, look at all the names, too. Oh, my God. Oh, man. She'll have a nice room for the kids where they could just play and be happy. Yes! Yeah, I was sad. I, uh, you know, I did, I cried a little, and then, you know, I was happy for my kids. Very happy, and it just, it's going to be beginning with my children and not my wife. Oh, <laughs> it's not the same. Oh, John. I know. Johnny loved my sister so much. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> oh, God. Every time I look at the pictures, it seems like I'm looking at her. It's, uh, you know, it's hard. It's very hard. Two months after we moved out of the house, my wife got sick. Everything was on hold to concentrate on her getting better. But, uh, you know, that didn't happen. <laughs> That I know he wished. He wished Amory was with him. Wow! Yeah. I can understand how John was feeling, how it's bittersweet. Because I know they're coming home to a house without a mom. I really wish that she was there to experience what I'm experiencing now, back home with, you know, with the kids. <laughs> oh, man. It feels like my wife Amory is there. It just everywhere I looked is pictures. It feels like she is around. Welcome home, Vitali family. Welcome home. Just ahead. Jack, don't lock in. I locked in me. Officer Jack! <laughs> yeah! Is there any way you can let us out just to finish the house tour? No. Officer Jack! They didn't see the secret pictures. Yeah! He didn't. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Daddy, I see mommy. Yeah, it's hard. It's very hard, but I'll get through it. I have my three kids, and, you know, I love them very much. Mommy likes me. She loves you. She doesn't just like you. Right? Blow her a kiss. That's what I'm here for, to make sure they're well taken care of. They may have lost Anne Marie, but... He still got three beautiful boys. Jack, Adrian, and Luke are the most precious things to him in this world. They've got a lot of Amory in them. This has been just a completely amazing week. We have met so many friends and neighbors, and to be honest with you, just so many people who care about, about you. Everywhere we turned around, people were handing us things. They handed us this box full of this stuff. Um, but they got like coupons to all these different businesses. Everybody's in town, a free haircut for the boys. Laundry services, nanny services. Car wash whenever time you want, or a $25 gift certificate to get milk. To be honest with you, well, the neighborhood didn't stop there. They just kept going and going. So we ended up having ourselves a concert to raise a little money for the family. And they raised $150,000 for you guys. And it's still growing. It's amazing. I, you know, I was, I was taken back. I don't even know how I'm gonna have to thank everybody. It's uh, nice to get help, and I, I rarely ask for help. I never 
ask for help. And uh, you know, it's just uh, it's nice to see that a lot of people care. Well, we're hoping with this, we can help you move on a little bit and also still always remember. There's a lot of love for you around here, man. I think everyone's glad to finally see you come home. No, I'm glad to be home. It uh, feels good. So guys, there's actually a lot of house to see. Who feels like checking out the rest of the house? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> well, guys, go check out your brand new house. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Jack, this is all real stuff. Room was like a real police set. And there was real lights and police stuff. You see all the lights, all the police equipment, and he loves it. Oh, look at Jack. It fit him. <laughs> Look at his closet. As a closet, there's actually a jail cell. Showing him, like, you know, how the closet works. Oh, you're not locking it, Jack! Don't lock it! No! <laughs> I locked him in. Officer Jack! <laughs> we both were locked down for a bit. So anyway, you can let us out. And I'm like, Jack? We're not finished showing you the house! No. Officer Jack! There was a secret door. Run, guys, run! We're out of jail! It goes to Adrian's room. Yeah. Yeah! We made it out! I love my room. I like everything. Oh, man. <laughs> a bed? A bed? There was a lot of stuff in there. Toys, a mini pool, piglet, and tigger, and a big boy bed. <laughs> Go check it out. Is that your bed? Who is that? Winnie Pooh. Yeah, did you give Winnie the Pooh a, a hug? Give a big hug. Adrian's room, it's just unbelievable. He loved it. Absolutely. This is unbelievable. unbelievable. It is, it's unbelievable. Okay. Hey, let's go play. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Ty. I love my room. We wanted to get John pretty much the ultimate spa. <gasps> oh, my God! There was just a uh, huge, huge hot tub. The hot tub? Look at that, oh, man! The thing was huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven people easy. Look at this. It is a guy spa. So, John, you can do some exercises and then and up and down. Yeah, what, two seconds? <laughs> In the hot tub, there is a TV, a music set, and a remote. You can, you can relax with Dad in here. Oh Wouldn't God. that be great? It's going to be nice to relax. Yes. Jack, isn't this unreal? I'll be offering to babysit a lot for that. <laughs> Go check out your backyard, guys. Go ahead. Go check it out. Wow, oh, the backyard is it's unbelievable. Oh, my God. Beautiful. It's like a park. Oh, my goodness. And you saw this huge castle. Kids ran right for it. Go see what's in there. Oh, look at this. Unbelievable. I think we hit the nail on the head with that one. Oh my god! Go look! Oh my god. The castle is so cool because there's ladders and swords in the field. This is the best castle in the world! I love, love, love the castle. Have all these swings and these slides and monkey bars and the catwalk, the drawbridge and a moat. And the waterfall, it's beautiful. Fairy tale of a place for kids to play in. The boys should have a blast back there. It's big enough for three boys to grow up in. Hopefully they'll play there for hours and hours. Ta -da! The boys are gonna have so much fun out there and the barbecue, they'll be out there all summer. Well, here come the designers, Michael, Paige, Connie, and Paul. Everybody was so stoked about the backyard and designers come out, we're all hugging, and all of a sudden you hear this honking. Hey, let's go find out what that is. What do you say? Let's go check it out. Beep, 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 beep. We ran out front, and there's Sal with a 23-foot fishing boat. We had no idea Sal had done this for John. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Sal is awesome, and his heart is deep, and he really does care. It's amazing, right? It's unbelievable. We thought, in addition to building you a home and helping bring you guys home and helping fulfill a dream and a wish of Amory's, which was to have you and his three beautiful boys live in his home. We figured, why don't we give you an opportunity to have some fun <laughs> by getting you a boat. Oh, man. And the name on the boat was Anne-Marie. And now when you go fishing with your boys, you go fishing with Anne-Marie. Yep, definitely. Nice. Believe, unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. Thank, thank you very much. I love fishing. It's just going to be good to get back on the water. Let's go. Let's go take it out. Let's go for a boat ride. Come on. I really, I wanted to go fish right then and there. Let's check out the Anne Marie. Let's go check it out, guys. Come on. A fishing boat, and we're going to go fishing on it. I think these boys will be great fishermen, and I know whenever I come and visit that I want to be one of the first ones he takes up float fishing. What do you say we head north? That uh, is going to be there summer. They'll go out Memorial Day and come home Labor Day. It's just unbelievable. It's nice to name the boat Amory after my late wife. So now my sister can go fishing with them. I think I got one. Just ahead. Oh, I wish she was here to see it. She just settled for the little sticky stars. And now with the fiber optics, it's like being outside. And she's the shooting star. And now she'll just watch them, take care of them. That's next on Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. So I was really excited to show John his new master bedroom suite that I've been working on all week. I know it's been tough, and it'll be tough after we're gone. But I'm hoping that this will be a good place for you to get away, recharge your batteries a bit. Well, do me a favor. Go check out your bedroom suite. All right. <laughs> John's room. It's, oh my goodness, that was unbelievable. Those photos of his sons on the wall were breathtaking. They were larger than life. It'd be nice to wake up and just, just like, look over and see them. It looks like they're actually looking over me too, so it's just comforting. If there's one thing he wants to make sure of is that he's always got an eye on his kids. You have regular television, and the click of a button turns it into a nanny cam. Oh, nice. It, it shows you each room that your kids are in, shows you what's happening. I always know where they are. And that's the most important thing in this world to him. Well, I thought, well, John should have a really beautiful bedroom. But I thought, well, it'd also be cool that maybe these bookshelves turned into secret doors that didn't went into a secret room called a den. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, 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 so check it out. You've got a flat screen television, a fireplace, and even a bar with stained glass windows. Incredible. He's going to be able to have friends over and have his own space. I'm sure he's going to love just having that little bit of privacy. You want to play? Yeah. I wish they never showed my kids the secret room. Now they're going to know where I, I'm always going to be. I knew that Anne-Marie worked on the nursery you guys had in your old house. Yeah. And I know how important that was to her. We tried to, to keep in mind how special Anne-Marie wanted that nursery to be. Do me a favor. Walk through that door, and I hope Anne-Marie would be proud. Oh, look, look, Lucky. Oh, look at the ceiling, Johnny. Yes, oh that's God. God. Wow. Oh, my God, look at this. Look. Oh, God. You saved that. <laughs> oh, my. That's one thing I wanted to save. Oh, God. It was unbelievable. It was something my sister would have wanted. This is your room. Is like all the stars up there? Look at the ceiling. Luke's going to be a special guy. She, she didn't really get to be with him too much. I know how important this was to, to Emery. She always wanted to have the moon and stars in the nursery. If you guys like that, wait till you see this. <gasps> There's a shooting star. <gasps> that was something that my wife Emery would, would have loved. And the shooting star. Because we tell my nephews, my sister is the brightest star in the sky. Who's your mama? Yeah. Your mom is the brightest star? And no, she really is. Oh, this is really nice. Look at that. Are you looking at the stars? I wanted them to get the full effect of it. You really can't appreciate this thing until you lie down with the lights off and you see all the lights twinkling and then you see that little shooting star go across the ceiling. <laughs> oh, I wish she was here to see it.
she just settled for a little, little sticky stars. And now with the fiber optics, it's like being outside. And she's the shooting star. And now she'll just watch them, take care of them. I really do think that Emma will be with Jamal and the boys forever. She was there. You could feel her there. In my heart, I really do believe that Anne Marie, she wanted him to be in that house. So I really think that it was a little help from Anne Marie to get him back where he was supposed to be. She'll always be remembered, always, by me, the kids, family, friends, and neighbors, and just, just everybody. Beautiful, huh? Oh, the stars. Aren't they pretty? I want to thank ABC, the law construction. Yes. They just came together and built us a nice, beautiful home. I just want to thank you guys for making this happen. Even though my wife's not here, at least now my wife will be able to know where her kids are, that they're back in the house that me and my wife bought. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, ABC. I feel so happy now. Air transportation provided by Southwest Airlines. Mm. Loopy, how you doing over there? Well, you little poop bike. Ah, 